Hi, Dr. Kate Heim here, a board-certified toxicologist. I'm often asked, what is the most common cause of nickel allergy? The answer is ear piercings. There are some important things to keep in mind if your child wants a piercing. Getting a piercing is not a trivial decision. You and your child should understand the risks and possible consequences, which include infection, nickel allergy, scarring, and long-term cosmetic issues. To minimize the risks, a reputable professional should perform the piercings with sterilized instruments using low nickel releasing piercing studs. Nickel allergy is caused by direct and continuous prolonged contact with the skin by high nickel releasing items like some earrings. Approximately 10 to 15% of females and 1 to 2% of males are allergic to nickel. It's certainly not life threatening and is easily preventable. To minimize the risk of becoming allergic to nickel, wear only high-quality jewelry made with low nickel-releasing materials such as high-grade stainless steel, like surgical stainless steel, titanium, and solid, not plated, gold, silver, or platinum. After piercing, follow the recommended healing protocol, which typically includes washing the piercing with soap and water or a saline solution twice a day until the piercing is completely healed. Keep an eye out for any type of skin reaction, especially during the healing period. If you do notice a skin reaction, consult a medical doctor to determine whether it's the result of an infection, irritation, nickel allergy, or some other cause. Be sure to follow the appropriate treatment. Piercings can of course be safe and worry-free even if you have a nickel allergy, simply by choosing jewelry that releases little or no nickel. For more information on nickel and nickel allergy, visit the Nickel Institute website at nickelinstitute.org.